It's me, T, and oh my God, this will be my most favorite room review of all time because Derek, his ass went home. Derek, his ass went home. He should have went home week three, but they gave him a pass because of Brittany. His ass went home. Yeah, yeah, his ass went home. Twerk it out. His ass went home. Get it, get it. Okay, I am done being joyous and very, very petty, but baby, I am happy. I even had people snapchatting me, telling me that I must be the most happiest bitch alive. And you know what? You are right, Gary. I am so happy right now. Okay, let's jump right in. I took some notes. This is my second time filming this video, by the way, because not because there was any technical difficulties, but because <sighs> the last one was 10 minutes and I was like, no, I could chop this shit down. So... Amy Sedaris and her brother came, uh, her brother's a writer, they were the guest judges, and in this episode we learned about Bob Moore, he made people cry, he made me cry, about his home life and his life in general, and his mom, and how she got really, really sick, and how he'd never seen her like that, and it really broke his heart, it made me cry, I felt really bad. Then we learned that Kim Chi's mama don't know that he does drag and thinks that he's a makeup artist over here. Child, when she see these episodes, she better fucking support him. Because Kim Chi does really good work. And I feel like Kim Chi's one of those queens that even if she doesn't win, will go on to do really, really great things with just like regular fucking celebrities. I can see Kim Chi. Yeah, motherfucker. I can see Kim Chi doing um, music videos like when Rihanna did SM, Willem was in it, and a whole bunch of other like drag performers and performers in general. I feel like Kim Chi is that kind of queen. Um, Derek was shit the entire episode. Like, I'm sorry. He had a bad fucking attitude. Derek doesn't know how to take critiques. You know what I don't like about Derek? Ever since the first day, Derek came in as if he knew everything already and he didn't need to change anything. He didn't need to hear any critiques. He didn't need to take any advice. He was very Kanye about his whole thing. You cannot give me any advice. That's who Derek was this whole fucking time. Derek didn't even paint like a drag queen, okay? Should have went home because of that. With the fucking leotards and things stapled to his fucking body, should have went the fuck home. Like, come on. Come on, there's no excuse for the level of mediocrity that Derek was doing. And he was so fucking delusional. Oh my god. But, this isn't a I hate Derek video and I'm so happy he went home. Anywho. So... Derek and Naomi got into it a lot in this episode. They had to do the puppet mini challenge, which Chi Chi won. But Derek took offense to the littlest jokes and would say little, real fucked up shit back. I feel like Derek has like this skewed view of black drag queens. I could be wrong. Like Michelle Versace said Ratchet one time, and Derek has said it probably like 50 fucking times during this whole fucking show. You do Ratchet Drag, Bob. So if I need to call for Ratchet Drag, shut the fuck up. Bob doesn't even do Ratchet Drag. Stop being ignorant as fuck. Like, stop it. It was annoying after a point. It was like, all right, we get it. You don't know drag. Clearly, because you know Britney. Anywho, so Rue gave them all personal critiques, telling people them to love themselves, excite them, be more elegant, shit like that. So the uh, main challenge was they had to do a number from Strangers with Candy for Amy Sedaris with the wigs and the outfits and everything. I thought the opening number was really good. I thought the choreography was great. Kim Chi did really good because Kim Chi can't dance for shit. So she did really, really well. They had three categories for their one way, which was um, baby drag, um, mama drag, and eleganza extravaganza drag and i love the three look episodes i think they're my favorite because you can really see who steps it up and who like falls behind in the pack and they all ha also had to do voiceovers so for the baby drag i thought kim cheese was really cute and her voiceover was pretty funny naomi's was revealing but cute gotta show them legs girl bob's i thought was pretty fucking hilarious. I thought Bob's um, voiceover was hilarious, but I thought that the baby drag look was a little meh. It was a little Flintstones to me, but whatever. Derek Chi Chi's was really cute, and I thought it was really creative. The mama drag, what the fuck was Derek talking about, which uh, 
My mother wears a blue dress in our family photos and I'm reimagining it. I'm reimagining it as a nightgown on the night I was conceived. No wonder my father wanted to hit that baby one more time. What are you doing? That was, that was, what the fuck was that? Anyway, Chi Chi, yes, giving me Mary J. Blige. I'm not going to cry. That's what I felt. That looked like that wig was great. That long ass dress was great. I loved everything about it. Kim Chi's was very somber, very sad, very like woo woo. It made me a little upset. You know, I want Kim Chi, even though I don't know Kim Chi personally, I want Kim Chi to have this like amazing relationship with her mom. But I do understand that there are some asshole parents out there who don't know how to support their kids. Okay. Drag is an art. Support the arts, people. Anyway, Naomi's was really soft. I like the voiceover talking about how her mother has all these glamour shots with each individual child, because apparently there's like 12 in total, and treats them all like their own person. And I love seeing how appreciative Naomi is for the mother that he has. Bob was giving me Viola Davis. Why is there a dick on a dead girl's phone? Real nasty. Yes, how to get away with murder, how to get away with being Bob and snatching wigs. Because, you know, he don't wear a lot of wigs. He like that bald head. Anyway, <laughs> the extravaganza looks, Kim Chi turned it the fuck out. Like, the headdress, the green things, everything was paper. It was so, so good. And I'm so, so happy for Kim Chi. And I thought that that look was so, so good. Naomi's, I really, really liked. It looked like some shit Naomi Campbell would wear and strut her fucking ass off. Loved it. It was more than just like legs and a pretty face. It was very, very intricate detail. And I enjoyed that. Bob legs for days. Oh my God. Even though he didn't take advantage of the materials, I feel like that dress was actually really good looking. I thought it was really cute. Um, Derek... <sighs> Anyway, Chi Chi loved it so good. I loved how the earrings matched the little head thing in the dress. It was very, do you want to build a snowman? No, bitch, I don't. I want to slay instead. Oh, I fucking loved it. But let's talk about Derek's outfit. What was it? Those brows, first of all. I know brows are sisters, not twins, but holy shit. Get a fucking guide and do your shit, all right? But Derek's outfit was just panties in a corset. And he thought he was going to stay because of that outfit. Okay. Um, like I said in the beginning of this video, Derek went home. And I'm the happiest bitch on the planet. But I feel like Derek was a filler queen. I feel like Derek should have left the competition weeks ago. We still have people like Thorgy here. If they would have just bit the fucking bullet and sent Derek home. But, you know, they love dragging shit out on drag race. But I think there's only like two episodes left. I'm really excited for the rest of the season. I think the top three will be Kimchi, Bob, and it's going to be a toss-up between Naomi and Chi Chi. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having an amazing Wednesday. You're getting over the hump. Um, if no one's told you that you're amazing and that they love you, I think you're amazing and I love you. See you on Friday.